After I finished fellowship, I was involved in a private practice in allergy for a couple of years, and I realized I really missed being in an academic environment, and I really missed working with learners. So I really got back into uh, academic medicine to work with medical students, residents, learners of different levels. So I really do enjoy the teaching aspect of what I do and just seeing how families progress. What I liked about IU was the people I met. The conversations were very easy. There was a lot of flexibility in it, making things work to fit my interests. I work with learners and I want to see what they're interested in. I work with them on if they're interested in clinical research, quality improvement projects, and I let the learner guide what research they want to do. I think for a fellow coming to train here, the unique aspects of IU School of Medicine of Riley would be access to a world-class children's hospital where we have tons of resources, lots of opportunities for clinical trials, for uh, research, research in lots of different areas. And there's a lot of flexibility. There's a lot of interest in allowing people to pursue the things that interest them. So I think that's what is very unique about this program, that we're not set in our schedule and in our ways. You can kind of carve your own path as a fellow here and get those opportunities you're looking for and get the training that you're looking for. It's important to have a broad experience in training sites and with different mentors. If you look at clinical allergy, there are a lot of times uh, if you're trained only in the academic center, you're, you don't understand the challenges and the rewards of what it means to practice allergy in a different setting where you may not have as many resources as you do at an academic center. And for somebody who wants to go into private practice, it prepares them much better for that field. For somebody who wants to stay in academic medicine, it allows them to appreciate the challenges that some of our community colleagues face, but also helps us understand uh, our patients better. My approach to teaching is to try to ground it in a patient that we're seeing. And I think that makes the most sense for trying to remember information. Uh, I try to really keep you know, my kind of teaching examples and focus on kind of what we're seeing that day, uh, what questions are coming up as a result of that, and then kind of exploring those areas. For research, it's vital that people engage in actively in research during their fellowship because it allows them to take what they see in the clinics and move it to another setting. Uh, it allows them to deduct a problem or project and then helps them analyze research in the future. Within allergy and immunology, we have some researchers with T32 training grants that may be applicable to uh, fellows who are kind of very interested in a research-based career. There are also a lot of internal grants through the Riley Foundation and the Clinical Translational Sciences Institute. We want to train fellows who are prepared for the career of their choice, whether it is private practice, academic clinical medicine, or basic research, physician, scientist careers. We want fellows to be able to have choices in terms of their career with our fellowship program. I look forward to having our learners who graduate and in various settings still come back and share their knowledge with us of what they're seeing in our practice.